I'm David Quentin Beversdorf. I'm a physician scientist and i involved in the clinical care and research in autism. You can have somebody who has superior intelligence with autism and yet they still struggle in a lot of areas. Initially I was looking into the neuropsychology to understand why that was and then it dawned upon me that it's a really good question to ask what can be done about that. The best thing we have out there is early intervention. Not everybody gets early intervention and even if you do, some children still struggle. We really would like to be able to add something to that picture and find something that is safe and effective from the pharmacological standpoint. One of the problems that has come up in working with autism and trying to develop treatment approaches is that our clinical trials, our first two major ones have failed. That is very likely because there's not just one autism. There are many, many different contributing factors in autism, and these absolutely need to be taken into account when exploring this. We are monitoring a number of factors, so those that have greater anxiety at baseline, ones that have prenatal stress as a risk factor, and more generally, we need to take this into account for all of our studies. With proper accounting for these kind of biomarkers and proper subtyping, I think we can really make a lot more progress and not incorrectly reject a study drug uh, when in fact it may have helped a small percentage of patients. We just need to find out who those patients are. It is incredibly important to me because I see these patients in clinic. I see the struggles they go through. After becoming very interested in this, I've met the families, I've met the patients. If I can help them, I'll be a much happier person.